It is something that we all probably studied in school, how a bill becomes law. But if you didn't learn it in school, you may not know anything about it. State Senator Justin Chenette of Saco is someone who wants to make sure that kids and adults know about the basics of civics. He's with us here on 207 to talk about his new book, The Great Whoopie Pie Debate, How Your Idea Becomes Main, becomes main Law. Thanks for coming in. It's good to see Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Everybody loves whoopie pies. Everybody loves whoopie pies. <laughs> so that's a good way, a spoonful of sugar to help with what can be a boring topic, right? It can be, particularly for kids, though, but anybody of any age, um, government can be a little bit dry. And so this was an actual debate back in 2011. 11, before me, Rob, before right, me, right. Um, where we actually debated the state dessert as potentially the whoopie pie. And I found that that was a really great illustration of the legislative process to bring to kids. So what you've written is a book that is aimed at kids. It's a coloring and activity book. And yeah. basically it shows them as we said, how a bill becomes law. You take them through the process. How did you strike the right balance between it being something that really would inform kids and educate kids, but also would be interesting enough so that they'd stay with the story? Well, what I find is um, I actually love going out and talking to the kids in the classroom and using this as an illustration. So we bring the kids up to the class and basically everyone picks their favorite flavor. So you really get the engagement. And throughout the book, it's the same way. They can basically color their favorite flavor, whether it's pumpkin, which is my favorite, or chocolate, which is the standard, Right? And you basically walk from bringing that idea to their legislator and you walk them through the process. The committee has to vote, they have to have a public hearing, and basically the kids can make their case of what flavor they really want the state dessert to be. And although this may sound a little bit out there, this was an actual debate that took place yes. in the main <laughs> legislature a few years ago. We actually debate really important issues, Rob, <laughs> but that is that was a, a live debate. And that's why I think it was really important to illustrate that, that this actually could occur if you bring an idea like that, hopefully maybe more important than just the state dessert to your legislator, whether you're a kid or an adult, hopefully they'll listen and they'll walk you through the steps of the process. And for people who are cynical about the process of government, yeah. and there are a lot of them, it's important to remember that from time to time, young people in Maine, students, whether in elementary school, middle school, high school, bring ideas before the legislature that get traction and that are debated, they don't always pass, nobody wins all the time, but they, they become bills that are debated in the legislature. Kids give me hope for the future, and it's so important that we empower the next generation to become active and engaged in their communities, active and engaged citizens, and why not start early on? And I find that fourth graders who are already learning about government in their classroom, some of them even come up to the state house to visit, which is great. It's great to see them, you know, banging the gavel at the, in the Senate chambers. Um, that's a great age to really say, hey, you know what? You can make your voice heard. Here's how, and here's how your own government works. Just basic civics. Imagine if we instilled that in the next generation and they're going to be passionate about voting, they're going to be passionate about volunteering. So many positive things come about when we teach kids about their own government. I was thinking about something as I was leafing through this book and it struck me about the guy who won huge on Jeopardy earlier this year and part of the reason he knows so much is he said that he read a lot of children's books. He oh. said, you know, if you want to find out about sharks, <laughs> don't read the marine biology textbook on sharks, right. read the children's book. So a book like this is actually useful for adults too. If they've got kids, they may learn something about how bills become law that right. they they didn't know before. It's always a good refresher course for everybody. I mean, who doesn't love to color too? I mean, it, I, I find that one disappointment that the kids find if I present the book to them, where are the whoopie pies? Give me the whoopie pies. We want the real stuff, yeah, but it's it, really great for everybody. It, it, it's not buy a book, get a free whoopie pie. <laughs> so the, the debate was about whether the whoopie pie should become Maine's official state dessert. Yeah. And what is Maine's official state dessert? Blueberry pie. You can't <laughs> beat it. You got to support the blueberry industry. Absolutely. Just, that's a good lesson that things don't always in the legislative process turn out the way backers hope they will. Absolutely. It's a good lesson in life. It's a good lesson in legislative compromise. The <laughs> blueberry pie made everybody happy. Gotta Absolutely. leave it there. State Senator Justin Chenette, Democrat from Saco and author of The Great Whoopie Pie Debate. We've got more information on it on our website and we'll be back in a moment.